I'm gonna check out this video. It's called A Beginner's Guide to Blackpink Who is Who. And then we have... Hmm. Mm, it's hard for me to say. Uh, this girl with the green dress is this... <laughs> Hi guys, you're here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today is not going to be a music reaction. Uh, at least I don't think so. But in this video, I'm going to get to know the girls from Blackpink. Uh, I've reacted to two videos from them, being Pink Venom and Shut Down. And I don't really know them separately yet, or what is typical about each one of them. I'm gonna check out this video, it's called A Beginner's Guide to Blackpink, Who is Who. Uh, it is eight minutes long, it's not that long compared to some of the other videos that I've seen uh, to get to know them, some introduction videos or documentaries. I'll check out this one. If it's necessary to know some other stuff about them, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's check it out. Um, it's not a song, I believe, so if you want me to react to more of Blackpink, uh, give your suggestions in the comments below. Without any further ado, let's check this out. Here we go. Jisoo, Jenny, Lisa, and Rose. Dang it! I've, I've heard a lot about Lisa. Uh, that she's doing some solo stuff as well, I think. And here I go, pausing already again. Jisoo, Jenny, Lisa, and Rose. Dang it! <laughs> I'm trying to look at the camera and say it. How do four girls living in four different countries with only nine songs to their name become the most viewed K-pop group of all time? Only nine songs? Really? And do they all live in different countries? I thought they were all from Korea. I mean, perhaps they are from Korea, but they don't live there. That's probably it. I don't know. Only nine songs to their name become the most viewed K-pop group of all time. Yeah. Perform at the largest American music festival. Which I didn't and know signed before. to the same label as Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, and Maroon 5. Wow. It's time to welcome Blackpink to your area on today's Beginner's Hi. Guide to Blackpink. This K-pop... <laughs> nice reference. Blackpink in your area. Blackpink has four members. Jisoo, okay. Jenny, Rose, and Lisa. They Jisoo, debuted Jenny. in 2016 under the YG Entertainment Company. But all the cool kids just call it YG. Fans of Blackpink are called Blinks. Blinks. All you have to do is switch together black and pink and you'll get them. I knew that already. Call it YG. Fans of Blackpink are called Blinks. Blinks. All you have to do is squish together black and pink and you'll get the picture, I think. Yeah. <laughs> From the very beginning, Blackpink's image has been edgy. Cool. And forward thinking. What we're thinking, okay. Picture lots of rapping. Lots of dancing. Yeah. Declarations yeah. of female power. And hair flips. Lots and lots of hair flips. The whips. I mean, somebody explained to me that the whips was like uh, driving a car fast. It's something like that. If it's wrong, tell me in the comments. But that's what I read in the comments from, the, from one of my reactions. So, let's meet the powerful ladies of Blackpink. Jisoo is the oldest Jisoo, member of Blackpink. The oldest. She is also the only one born and raised in South Korea. Jisoo is one of Black the only one Blackpink's lead vocalists. She's lead also vocalist. the weirdest member by far. <laughs> the weirdest one. Jisoo has become well known for her gorgeous face and her childlike and friendly personality. She has a gorgeous face. I must say that. I must say that. She's one of the group's designated visuals. Which just means she's hot. <laughs> Jenny is the first member cool. of Blackpink to go solo. So la 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 la. She was born in- Ah, I didn't know that. I thought it was Lisa that uh, had more solo stuff. South Korea and grew up in New Zealand. Do you know okay. I just did this in New Zealand? Oh! Jenny's stone cold gaze and fierce rapping abilities quickly gave her the title of a diva. Though she would argue that she's no diva at all. <laughs> Oh, oh, Hi, <laughs> smoky voice and hipster chic style makes her the indie darling of Blackpink. Think indie bubbles darling. from the Powerpuff Girls, but okay. with the best Spotify playlist you've ever heard. Do you want me to? I really, really, really to the left, to the left. Falling in love. Okay. So she's the diva. Oh, no, 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 no. 
she, not, not, she's not the diva. So it was Jenny that was the diva, kind of, that rapped more, right? First member of Blackpink to go solo. So la 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 la. She was born in South Korea and grew up in New Zealand. Do you know any citizen New Zealand? Oh! Jenny's stone cold gaze and fierce rapping diva. abilities quickly gave her the title of a diva. Yeah, Though this she is would Jenny, argue okay. that she's no diva at all. Hi, <laughs> Lucy. Rose's smoky voice Rosie. and hipster chic style makes her the indie darling of Blackpink. Think Bubbles from the Powerpuff okay. Girls, but with the best Spotify playlist you've ever heard. I'll have to check that out. Well, this is Rosie. Does she play the piano? Oh, no, 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 it's just If acapella. you're singing along to the hook of any Blackpink song, you're most likely singing along with main vocalist Rosé. Rosé was born in New Zealand, but raised in Australia among the kangaroos. Good eye, okay. Mike. Lisa is the youngest member of Black. Okay, so is it Rosé or Rosie? Rosé, I think, right? So we have Jisoo, Jenny, Rosé, and now we have Lisa, if I'm correct. Youngest member of Blackpink. But you never guessed it if you saw her on stage. And so Jisoo and Rosé are the main vocalists. And does that make Jenny and Lisa the main rappers from the group? Good I eye, Mike. Lisa is the youngest member of Blackpink. But you never guessed it if you saw her Check on that. stage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? It's just like acting 101. You never guessed it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> her otherworldly dancing abilities have earned La Lisa international clout. Okay, <laughs> so she's she's a dancer. Fans all the around dancer. the world are obsessed with this girl. Who is she? What is she doing? Oh my god, I love her. She's so cute. Plus, the way she can spit bars, it's like her and Jenny are a present day salt and pepper. So she and Jenny are the Lisa rappers. is from Thailand. Thailand. From Thailand. In case you haven't caught on already, Blackpink is the revolution. Blackpink has over 20 Apparently. million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Oprah doesn't even have it. How long ago has this made this video? Three years ago. How many subscribers did they have back then? 20 million? Has over 20 million. Now they have over 80 million. <laughs> Three years ago, what an improvement, right? Subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Oprah doesn't even have that many. They're the highest charting oh. female K-pop act on the US Billboard charts. And they're going to Coachella in like a week. How did they do all of that with literally nine songs? Blackpink's rise to- Also, back then they had nine songs, but by now they probably have a lot more. I mean, they, they stopped for a couple of years, right? From what I've heard, so. Perhaps not too many more, but definitely a couple more, right? Fame can be traced back to three main factors. First is their pre-debut hype. Before Blackpink became Blackpink, they were Jisoo, Jenny, Rose, and Lisa. Four young trainees under YG Entertainment. In K-pop, becoming a trainee is similar to signing a contract with a Hollywood studio. In both situations, you first pass an audition. Then your company keeps you on retainer while you perfect your marketable skills like singing, dancing, public speaking, and twerking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then if your company <laughs> finds a good fit for you, they will debut you to the public as an artist or group. Back in the golden age of Hollywood, the biggest studios were MGM, Paramount, Warner Bros. In modern day K-pop, however, the big entertainment companies are SM, JYP, and YG. Never heard of any of them. <laughs> Sorry. But it does surprise me that so, so they're not all born in South Korea. Uh, and I just assume because it's called K-pop that they all have to be from K-pop. Korea or live in Korea, but apparently that's not the case. So I was misinterpreting that. However, the big entertainment companies are SM, JYP, and YG. They're also known as the Big Three. The Big Three. The Big Three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a major reason for Blackpink's early popularity was the grand mythology of YG and his girl groups. YG's first big girl group was 2NE1. They were a majorly popular group I and became known around the world. What's the name of the group again? 2NE1. Take a look. Seriously, who was going to follow up that? Therefore, Blackpink was entering a sacred space by even debuting. The second reason for Blackpink's success is Teddy Park. The in-house producer at YG named Teddy Park has helped to create all of Blackpink's nine songs. Okay. Boom, bio, whistle, playing with fire, stay, as if it's your last, do da 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 forever young, really, and see you later. As well as all of their new songs. Kill this love, don't know what to do, kick it, and hope not. And let's not... 
and the newest ones that I have reacted to being Pink Venom and Shutdown, these are not in it yet. Forget about Little Miss Jenny's solo. Having one lead producer helps give Blackpink's music a distinct color and vibe. You know it's a Blackpink song within the first five seconds of turning on the radio. Or okay. else they're not on the radio that day. <laughs> <laughs> Their music videos are also extremely high budget. Like, yeah. extremely. That's All of this order clear. creates a Blackpink universe, kept vacuum sealed from the whims of other music styles and schedules that quickly turned these four trainees into untouchable icons. Finally, each member of Blackpink was handpicked and carefully balanced so that each one has a reason to shine. The small okay. number of members and their distinct talents and personalities have given each one international first name recognition. This means that if I say Blackpink, chances are a fan will picture more than just a group. They'll picture individuals, moments, and movements. What makes this group so special is how these women and their fans buy into their own hype. Girl groups don't usually find the success that boy groups seem to have so easily. Apparently they, they sexism, do ageism and the overwhelming pressure to measure up to a million different unrealistic standards but blackpink has broken the mold by recruiting a large so let's see if i know the names from here so on the left here is lisa i think on the right is uh jisoo i think uh and then we have hmm mm, it's hard for me to say uh this girl with the green dress is this Jenny, and then this girl, Rosé. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they all have Lisa in, in their hand, but that doesn't show anything. Fan base of mostly women. Women who want to see pop stars that have a voice and a vision, not just a pretty smile. So, why do we love these girls so much? I think the answer is clear. <laughs> so, what's all the hype about, right? Sis, I think it's in the pudding. <laughs> Thanks the for pudding. watching. I hope you learned something about Blackpink. If you already knew a lot, please share this with someone who doesn't know okay. that much about Blackpink because we want to introduce the world to our favorite girls. Alrighty. Cool. That was a quick, short introduction to, to Blackpink. Uh, and I think I got to know a little bit more about them. Like I said, guys, if you want me to know more about them, if I have to watch another video, perhaps off screen, then um, give me the suggestions and I might just watch it uh, like that. But glad I got to watch it. Uh, perhaps I will check it out again. And when I'm editing, I'm probably going to notice a couple more details so that I know who is who in Blackpink for the next reaction that I'm doing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this uh, introduction to Blackpink uh, and I hope you look forward to my next reaction from uh, some of their songs uh, give your suggestions so thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share the video also don't forget to check out some of my other reaction videos I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out so thank you very much and see you guys next time bye <laughs>